Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to show you a new plant disease that uh, that is kind of starting to make its way here into our area. It's something that we have seen for probably going on a year now, but it's been misdiagnosed and or improperly diagnosed, however you want to say it. And the state uh, ag department is just now really kind of coming out with some conclusions. We actually don't even have a uh, verifiable uh, cure for it yet. But uh, notice on this uh, boxwood. You know, boxwoods have historically been one of the most hardiest plants that you can plant. Nothing, nothing gets to them. But notice on this one here how it's dying. I guess more importantly, notice how you can see at this house they had a row of uh, boxwoods and then they wanted to make it a little longer. So we actually last year added this boxwood on the end and this boxwood here on the end. This one right here has started to get this 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 dieback. The disease is actually called, I don't know who names this stuff, but they're very original. It's called boxwood dieback. And what it is, is it's an actual fungus. Notice how irregular the dieback is. See how you've got all of this this green, this this very lush, thick growing green, and then you've just got all of this very random and very sporadic dying back. That's how you know that it is, uh, it's, it's this new fungus that is showing up in our area. A lot of people tend to think that they're waterlogged and that's why they're starting to die back. But you can see uh, a couple of other easy ways is you can start to see some, some very bright discoloration on the actual limbs, the dead limbs. Uh, they're going to be a, a very vibrant green and it's going to not really make a pattern. It's going to be pretty erratic, but it's not going to be a dull, dead looking uh, part of the limb. It's actually going to be very bright. Uh, if you cut it in half, you'll actually start seeing some uh, necrosis or some dieback on the inside of the limb. Uh, and that's another easy way to tell. But uh, right now, you can treat it with a normal fungicide. Uh, it's questionable about whether or not it will or won't work because they're still running a bunch of trials as far as which types of fungicides are going to be the best and what the best dosage is. The good news is, is that uh, this disease is not going to move through the soil. And as you can see, this one here sitting right next to this one here, these uh, boxwoods are perfectly fine. There's nothing going on with it. It's just this one plant that's affected. So in small cases like this, you might be able to get away with going in and just removing just this plant and getting rid of it. Uh, it's not really going to do a lot of good to cut out just the dead and leave the green because the plant itself is, is infected. Uh, like I said, we're going to start running some trials on applying fungicides hoping that that might help. So anyway, if you've got boxwoods and you've been having problems with them, you've been noticing some dieback and it seems to be very random and very unexplained, it's because you do have this disease that's moved into our area. It is pretty new. I'm actually going to include a link down here in the message uh, that's going to have some information from the state. Yeah, just to kind of uh, maybe go a little bit deeper and expound a little more. Uh, that way you can do some homework if you want to. But be on the lookout. Uh, if you got any questions, maybe you suspect that you've got some, take some pictures, send it to us. Uh, it's still a very new problem that's going on. It's something that we're going to watch and monitor very, uh, very closely. But anyway, in the meantime, if you have any questions, just let us know. We look forward to hearing from you.